Okay, so today, um, I'm imagining, or I'm assuming, or I'm really tongue-tied, that you saw, as I'm spitting, the room tour on my main channel, and because of that video, a lot of people requested, like, a house tour, so, the sun is, like, right in my eyes, I am going to be doing a house tour, cri a cribs tour, with a Z, um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys kind of where I start, like, where I film, a lot of people think it's, like, right in the front of my house, um, it's not, it's like a little courtyard that's kind of like very back, so it's like not as embarrassing as everyone thinks. Oh, and the other thing is, um, A, I'm not showing the house tour to show anything off, and B, we are not, like, <laughs> my house is not about to be in like one of those, what are those, those home magazines where everything's perfect? We live in our house, so there are some messes. My mom might get mad, but I'm just showing you how we actually live. So, this is where I film. Um, a lot of my videos outside. Um, a lot of people ask questions about the flooring. If you look down here, the flooring is actually like, they're like plates from like Salvation Army, Goodwill, um, old tiles, stuff like that. And my mom decorated this whole courtyard. And you're going to see in a lot of our house that there's lots of detail everywhere. Like over here, there's like this random, I don't even know what that is, that fleur thing. It's a wagon. I guess. Huh. Yeah, so there's a lot of attention to detail. Um, we have very different styles, my mom and I, but I thought that would be really interesting for you guys to get to see her style since it is so specific before I move into house into my house and show you mine. Because um, it's really interesting and she's super creative. So, oh, and at the end, she's going to give you like her decorating tip. So, this is the door everyone talks about. And then here is our house, yay! So, all right, the first thing I'm gonna cover is the floor. I got a lot of questions in my video about the flooring. This flooring is actually a, oh, there's my dog coming to say hello. Yeah, I have two dogs. I have a German Shepherd and Toby, who's a mixture. He's a mutt. We don't really know what he is. But um, anyways, this floor is like concrete. It's stained concrete with a, like a, like a gloss, a stained gloss over it. Um, it's really low maintenance, which I think is why we went with this. Um, it's, yeah, been awesome. I don't have anything else to say. Anyway, here is the like library area. Um, here is actually a picture of my mom and my dad. So cute. Aww. I don't know. That must have been take. That was taken with the other batch of photos, right? Yeah, like four years ago, five years ago, something like that. These stairs are pretty interesting. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but it's the same thing as in the entranceway. Um, they're like plates and tiles all broken together. And she actually replaced the railing in the house with a wrought iron railing. Um, it's just a really pretty railing. I don't think I'd say. Here is a trumpet because she's creative like that. And here is another uh, mural on the wall. It was painted by the same woman who painted the floral mural in my room. Okay, let's go to the living room. Oh, and she has a lot of like detailed things like this right up here, these little corner things. They're kind of cool. And lots of, oh, show behind you because you can see the, the chandelier up there and the painting on the wall and all the glasses were placed. Uh, that is in French, I believe, Happy Trails to you. <laughs> show them this little thing, all the little glasses burnt out. Cool. So, over here, yes, we have a giant framed picture of Donna Reed and Jimmy Stewart because she is actually our great aunt. You, well, most of you probably won't know who she is past your generation, but yeah. She was in a movie, a Christmas movie called It's Wonderful Life and a bunch of other things. So, all right, over here, we have a giant statue of my father's head. Do you have anything to say about that, Dad, since he's sitting right here? My head. Yay. That's a resemblance. It is such a resemblance. So now we're in our living room. Over here we have our couch, the fireplace that she totally redid. Um, they put stone and tiling all over here. And then up here, you can see above the windows, she replaced all these little panels and they're really cool, unique panels with like a metal and a distressed wood. Over here we have this cute little child. He's perfect decoration for this couch. Oh. Say hi! No. Okay, so onward to the kitchen. That's us. Say hi. Hi. Okay, here's Toby. Practicing, just being old. Okay, so here we are again. That's one of those cool little window cover things again. 
Um, we have this big round table. And then once again, on the counter, she did kind of the same thing she did on the stairs and an entrance where she took kind of cool, like regular tiles and then cool, like plate tiles, stuff like that. Okay, now this is the thing that I've gotten a lot of questions on when I've done cooking videos are her cupboards. Um, basically, she had used the covers that we already had here and she just painted them this turquoise and distressed them. I think she kept, you kept the same knobs, right? I don't know. No, she didn't keep the same knobs. Everyone's coming in now and interrupting my video. So, yeah. I already talked about the countertop. So, this. What? I already showed him this. That in the middle? Still yeah. this. We already covered that. Oh, fine. Old news. This show them the above. This is the second version of show this. Show them above. No, the cleaner version. Oh, yeah. Show them that with all the dust hanging off. <laughs> Particles. It's good. Over here, it's kind of a mess, but for those of you that are curious, this is actually where, after my bedroom, where I made like my little set for my videos, um, I recorded them in here against this wall. This is still the mirror where I record makeup tutorials. I like set the camera up right where you guys are and film into that mirror and turn all my lights on. So, oh yeah, and this is the room where I actually, um, a lot of you guys know that I was a dancer, and I taught dance in this room for like five years so that's why there's those dan dance paintings on the wall because i did that for a long time that was my first job so yeah let's move on upstairs so how's it going at the base of the stairs the base of the stairs we have these kind of this gate she had put in i think it was mostly just to keep the dogs out of the upstairs i don't know I don't know. So let's go upstairs and look at the doors. I can't really show you their rooms up here, but you can kind of see our view and you can see the window or the doors to their rooms because we have cool doors, but I'm not going to take you for a tour without asking them. So this is my parents' bedroom. Um, above the door, it just says happily ever after. So cute. And these are actually antique doors. A lot of the doors in our house are replaced with antique doors. Um, and she did the whole tiling thing, the panels again. Ooh, yeah. And over here, these tables and chairs are so random, but we're in the process of redoing them because these are actually going to, excuse me, I'm like burping. These are going to um, our apartment that we're moving out to. And over here, this is the view from our casa. This was like our family's favorite thing about this house is the view. You won't be able to really see anything, but over here, for those of you that are curious, when I was a teenager, this was my room. Now it's my sister's messy room, so I'm not going to take you in. But this was my room. This is our little bathroom. Once again, cool door, although don't worry, this doesn't go straight into the bathroom. There's another door to the actual bathroom. Bless our hearts. <laughs> this is my brother's room. <laughs> you can show his because he's a boy, so I'm sure he doesn't care. And he's six. <laughs> and this is the room that Michelle is in. So yeah, let's head on back down because now we have to get some decorating tips from my mom. Let's go get tips from her. Okay guys, so Stop. this should be interesting because my house is kind of chaotic, but I've threatened everyone with their lives to stay quiet. So. Not Casey. Ah! Oh. So I want to be asking my mom a few questions so she can give you guys <laughs> tips on how to decorate like a pro, like she I'm does. Just so, mom, pro. you had three tips. Let's start with tip number one. What is your first tip that you would my give? My first tip. To everyone out there. I. My first tip is don't be afraid of color. Yeah. Because you can always paint over it. So you can paint your walls a fun color. And not be worried if it's, if it's a mistake after you do it, you can paint it over. That's it's, a good thing. Does that apply to hair too, Mom? Yeah. I feel like it does. I've ruined their hair several times. No, she's way funkier than me. She's got like purple stripes in her hair. I'm always like, I'll oh, just stick to my plain color, thanks. She's way more excited than me. So, yeah. Be adventurous with color. Okay, what is your second tip to everyone out there? Things can be recycled and reused and made into different things. Yeah, I think that's really important because I know that most of us are on a budget. Mm -hmm. And you have to remember that like, for those of you guys that are going off to college or for those of you that are just wanting to redo your bedroom, like remember that what you have, like you can redo it. Do you want to like expound on that? Is that the right word? Expound on that? Yeah. Well, did you show them like the ladder in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. 
No, because it's a mess. <laughs> it was a ladder though. It's a ladder that she had painted in distress and it's now like a shelving system in our bathroom that I keep all of my products on down here. But it's kind of a mess, so that's mm -hmm. why you guys didn't see it. And then I took a piece of, broke, of board and mm. broken china and I mosaic behind it. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is too, like don't you don't have to look at these pieces and be intimidated, like, oh well I can't do anything that great. Like it doesn't have to be crazy. Just know that like you can remake the things that you already own. And that's what we're doing. If you saw upstairs, like we're in the process of re sanding down the table and staining it and covering the chairs. And it can be a little intimidating. Just know you don't have to do anything crazy, but you can like redo what you have. Um, and I'm really not speaking from experience because I've never redone anything. <laughs> Dan's redoing that table. I'm just ha! going, good job, yeah. I just like to talk like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, what's your third tip? The third and final uh -huh. tip. Uh -huh. It's the best one. Uh -huh. Animal print goes with any any decor any. and should go with any decor. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. We actually have pretty different styles, but I agree with that tip. I love leopard print and like it's really, it's fun too because like different animal prints kind of do, are, are like evoke different styles sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, because like I really like cheetah, that's my style, but like for me zebra necessarily, although different colors of zebra different for colors, different. Brown and, brown and cream yeah, zebra. Yeah, because I like brown awesome. and cream zebra, you know? So yeah, animal prints, awesome. And even in a Victorian house, you can put a zebra. Yeah. Or not a zebra, you probably put like a snow leopard. Yeah. It's kind of a cool way to add, like, like me, I'm a little plainer and boring in my like home decor. It's a nice way to add something that's like, it, adds, it makes it fun and... I don't know the word, but, not too, but not, not too much, but you can make it a lot if you want it. Like, yeah. It just kind of depends what you do. Yeah. So, do you have anything else? Um, and just not so matchy matchy. Like if you do a zebra room, don't do everything in zebra. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. unless everything in zebra is your signature style. <laughs> that's what you That's love. what you really love, babe. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Mm -hmm. So I think that is it. I hope that seeing my mom's house was like helpful and inspirational to some of you because I know when I had filmed around before there were quite a bit of you that were like, oh my gosh, show us your mom's house. And as you can see, she's really, really creative and artsy. I like interviewed you and talked all the time. <laughs> Hopefully. And yes, you are my daughter. We're different colors. <laughs> oh we're... yeah. Look at this. Yeah. I know, I know it's surprise. My brother is adopted. I'm not. It looks like <laughs> I am. But Actually, I'm not. You are. This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Casey, do you have any final out for home decor? Um, no. I do. What? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys had a great day. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see like moving updates and vlogs of the move. Um, because that'll all be going out here on my beauty channel. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Like Nikki Vlog. Is there really that noticeable that I vlog that badly? Occasionally. Here, okay. like pretend, pretend like you're vlogging. Have your arm out. Have your arm out and just do a vlog. Hey guys. Yeah, so this is your arm. This is a normal vlog. Oh my god! So Nikki's compensating for shaking. Yeah, she can do it a lot. And then this is a Nikki vlog. Hey guys! Hey guys!